Hey guys, this is Gio. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to answer a question. Is Nabucasa worth your $5 a month? In this video, I'll explain what Nabucasa is, the benefits, the alternatives, and if it's worth your money. Let's roll the intro. So Nabucasa is a cloud subscription service which gives you access to your home assistant wherever you are. It is run by the home assistant developers themselves and it costs $5 a month and you also have a 31 day trial to try it out. There, is no, there are no obligations to actually buy Nabucasa, it's really up to you. You can control everything in your smart home without Nabucasa. The only limitation you'll have is that you can't access it from outside your home. But Nabucasa has a lot of good benefits and let's go through them right now. One, you can access your smart home from anywhere. Two, it's got a one tap connection to your favorite voice assistant either Google or Amazon. Three, enables you to do text-to-speech, which is a technology that you can use to let your speaker actually broadcast a message, for example. So you can let it say, hey, the dinner is ready, and you can let your speakers do the talking instead of you. Fourth benefit is supporting the Home Assistant project. Everything and every time you spend is reinvested in the actual platform and services and actually paid developers to release those cool features that we all love. Now, can you achieve all of this without paying a single dollar? Yes, you can. Well, you can't support the Home Assistant project if you're not spending anything, but you can achieve all of the benefits yourself. Is it actually really worth doing it? We're gonna actually look into that now. So to get external access, what you're going to need to do is, you're going to need to do something called port forwarding. So you need to access your router, you need to do port forwarding, then you need to know something about dynamic DNS, there are a few concepts that you actually need to grasp. And if you don't even know what these mean, it's gonna take you some time to research and understand and figure out. I'm gonna estimate this as around three hours of your time researching and understanding, and also troubleshooting. Because as we know, every time we mess with our router and we don't know what we're doing, we could really risk breaking the whole internet and, or even worse, getting hackers from outside being able to access our network. So to integrate into Amazon's voice assistant, we're going to, you're going to need to spend some time there too. You're going to need to create a AWS account, have some idea of how AWS actually works. So AWS is Amazon Web Services, if you didn't know what it was. So there are a series of things. There are free and awesome YouTube videos and blogs out there that will show you how to do this. But it's going to take some time to understand and grasp and actually get it all working. Right? So this could take another three to four hours depending on your experience. Obviously, if you're a network administrator, probably it's gonna be easy. But if we're really trying to look at and thinking about Home Assistant as a solution for all, bringing in people that are not really techies, then is this really the right way to go down? Let me know in the comments down below. It could be a little bit easier to do Google's and integrate into with their voice assistant, but then again, you're gonna to need to know a little bit of their cloud platform, understand how it works. And from my past experience of actually helping people getting Nest working with Hummuses, that's been one of the most commented videos and where people have struggled a lot and got really frustrated. People have spent hours and hours trying to get this to work. Now, again, this could be three to hours, this could be four hours, it could be 10 hours, it could be half an hour. It really depends, but I'm gonna put down three hours just for our model and our example. So in total, I'm going to estimate it's going to take you 10 hours on average to replicate the same benefits that you will get from Nabucasa. Now remember that number. Now, if you want more people to see this video, then smash that like button because that will spread the word and help to support the community. Right, so we're at the backboard here and let's look into this and let's analyze it from a costs and benefits point of view. So, Nabucasa we've established, it's $60 a year. And if we consider that our time equals money, and we've estimated 10 hours on average for the actual time on completion of the activities or the equivalent of the Nabucasa benefits, then if we look at Minimum wages, for example, in the main countries that actually subscribe to this channel, so like the United States, United Kingdom, and Germany, it's around $7 to $11, as you can see here. 
So if we were to estimate that it's something, it's gonna cost someone around $70 to $110 in time to actually get this all working. So you, we could say this could take you roughly maybe a year to nearly even two years to get your money back from uh, the, you know, your investment in Nabucasa. Now, if we were to look at a, maybe a more realistic scenario for the average person that has a smart home, and if we look at the average wage and we take an average wage, so we're gonna put this down perhaps at $20, then this would obviously expand into $200, and this would take a lot longer to recoup your cost. So let me draw this out now. Right, so let's assume here we have this graph. We have uh, year one, year two, year three, and year four, and then over here we have dollars. So what we will do is we're gonna plot Nabucasa, so we know that Nabucasa is around 60 dollars for one year so we can plot this and that will double to 120 and and then we'll go and we'll carry on right so you can see the progression this line will actually um, keep on going up this way so this is going to be actually cost uh, ongoing cost of Nabucasa so if we were to put 200 dollars down we would have a straight line so it would be a one-off constant cost and you can see around here now this graph isn't really precise but just give you an idea that around maybe three years and, and six seven months you'll actually get back your investment so it could be actually a fast economy to think that you're saving money when you're not using Nabucasa now remember there are two things to consider first of all Nabucasa's features might even increase so they might roll out more benefits, meaning that it's going to be more, it's more easily, to, you know, to justify the cost. And also it really depends on your skills and your abilities. And if you can realistically get this done under 10 hours and thinking about the ongoing maintenance and ongoing headache of having, you know, yourself to deal with the services and the downtime and all the issues, or just passing that on to an external provider and then just paying that $5 fee. In conclusion, if you're on an average salary, it can take nearly four years to recoup the investment in time. So Nabucanza seems like a really good offering if you put it from that perspective, if you equate time equals money. Also remember the intangible benefits of actually supporting the community and all the releases and the benefits you're going to get indirectly. For me, it was a no-brainer decision. I'm a proud Nabucanza member. However, I have to say also that I enjoy tinkering and I enjoy actually trying things out. So I did myself try to integrate it without Nabucanza. And I think if we enjoy that part and if we take it as a hobby, then go for it and try and do it. But if you're thinking about this as a serious uh, solution for your smart home and you're not really into tinkering or into getting too much involved with code, you just want things to work, then Nabucanza for me and for you perhaps could be the right solution. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about Home Assistant, I'm actually working on a free Home Assistant course. You can find that at courses.leonardosmarthomemakers.com. Link will be in the description down below. I'm also going to put a few playlists here for you to watch on YouTube. There's plenty of ideas, plenty of content. So stay safe, keep automating, and I'll see you in the next one.